Good morning everybody, Nate from The Kramer Life, and today is a day that I'm both excited about and not excited about. So I'm down by the entrance to the crawl space of the 1930s farmhouse, and today I'm going to start the project where I fix up the crawl space. So I think today what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to remove all of the styrofoam insulation that the previous owner put up on uh, in between the floor joists on the ceiling of the crawl space. And then I'm going to spray and kill the mold that's in this crawl space. I'm not really sure what to expect today. This is my first time doing this kind of project, so I'll just kind of take it step by step. Katie is not on the homestead. She's actually on a long work trip. So instead of putting the dogs in the RV, I decided I'll just put them in the truck here. They really like being in the truck. It's a comfortable space for them and they they don't mind being in it. So I think what I'll do is get suited up. And so when I'm removing the insulation, I'm gonna be stirring up, I'm gonna be stirring up the mold that's in there and I don't wanna breathe that. And that's also why the dogs are gonna stay in the truck because I don't want them down with me in the crawl space. And once I have all of that removed then i will get prepared and start the process of the mold remediation and before i start that process i will come back to you guys and explain what product i'm going to use and how i'm going to do it and we'll walk through it together so i'm excited not excited so let's get started Whew, okay that is okay this is gonna be hot so i'm all suited up i got a a uh, full body suit from booties all the way to hoodie. Uh, full face mask shield with um, organic filters so this will catch everything including the mold spores. So I have an exhaust fan pulling some of the air out of this room uh, and blowing it outside. It's not gonna capture everything but it's something. The first thing I'm gonna do is just remove these styrofoam insulation boards that the previous owner put up here between the floor joists and then uh, the next step will be to clean it up a little bit and then I'm going to spray for the mold so whew, I'm going to be sweating like a pig and I know the pigs don't sweat but it's a saying that I use so sweating like a pig all right let's get going can you hear me I'm talking as loud as I can what is that sound I'll be back. in sweat it's kind of gross I know I'm sorry but wow okay those suits do not breathe um, 
I had to come outside because I ripped my latex, my, my glove. And then I had to let the dogs out of the truck. The truck was going full AC on, they were fine. But when they saw me, they freaked out because I'm in full suit and they didn't know it was me. They were freaking out. So I had to take off my suit, show them it was me so they could calm down. And everything's just wet and gross. So I turned the suit inside out. I'm letting it dry. It's not hard work. It's just, it's just hot because that suit does not breathe. It's taking me longer than I thought it would, but it's about as tedious and hot and uncomfortable as I thought it was going to be. But at least I'm getting it done. Kinsley, do you hear the birds? Well, it turns out there's a bird nest in the grill of my truck. And little baby chicks are just peeping, peeping, peeping in there. Of course, they stop because we're right here. But, I don't know, that's a dumb place to, for a mama bird to put her nest. I had to go wash up a little bit, make myself presentable. All right, so now that I have the um, styrofoam removed from the ceiling of the crawl space, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start the process of doing mold remediation. So the first thing I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna use a product line from RMR Solutions and they have a mold remover and disinfectant. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use the RMR 86 Pro. This is a mold and mildew stain remover and it claims that it works in just 10 seconds. So this is the Pro uh, version of it. They have a non-Pro version or a, a retail version of it. I went with the Pro, it's more, it's extra strength. Um, it works on a lot of surfaces, but it also works on wood. Anything porous, it'll work on. And what it'll do is it'll remove the mold and the stains out of the wood. And then once that's done, then you disinfect using their RMR 141 Pro. So this is a disinfectant, a cleaner, and a, a fungicide, fungicide, fungicide. So what this will do is kill the mold spores, kill anything that's left over that the 86 didn't get, and this will prevent future mold from growing on the surfaces that I spray this on. So, so I'm gonna go get you guys set up in the crawl space, get suited up myself, and I'm gonna start spraying this and let's see how well this stuff works. I'm excited about not having mold in the crawl space. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's see if this stuff works. I'm gonna let this one um, soak in for a little bit. It says when it's a heavy amount of mold and mildew, you may need to do two or three treatments. So I'm gonna move down to the other floor joists and start spraying those. So I'll put you guys on a wider, a wider view so you can watch me spray most of this area.
also been a lot of termites down here, so there's a lot of termite trails that I may need to scrape off. I don't know if this stuff will cause it to drop off or not. Um, so I may need to do a little bit of scraping, but I'm going to spray first and see how much of it comes off first. I'm going to change. Sorry, I just sprayed you guys. Did I get it all over my camera? I think I did. Oh dear. I'm going to change the nozzle on this to be a little bit heavier spraying. That was really stupid of me to spray you. Alright, I'm going to go get something to wipe off the lens since I just got it all dirty. Okay, that should be better for you guys. Alright, let's get back to spraying. I think that's too heavy of a spray. Here's where we first started. I'm going to do a second application. I've used all two gallons already, so let's head back outside and I'll give you my opinion so far. All right, so here's my opinion. Um, I think the product is working really well. I didn't realize just how thick of mold I had in the crawl space. Come on, flies, leave me alone. So it did take a pretty heavy dose of the RMR 
solution for it to get rid of the, the mold and the mildew and bring it back to its natural wood color. That coupled with the fact that there's lots of termite trails that are pretty thick. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is calling the manufacturer, talking to them about the, cur the situation that I have down in the crawl space, see what they recommend. Cause it's very possible that I'm applying too heavy of a coat and not waiting long enough for it to take effect before I do a second coat. So it could be that I should spray it, come back in 10 minutes and respray it so that way it has time to soak in. What I was doing is I was spraying pretty heavily, waiting 10, 15 seconds, spraying again, going to another spot, spraying heavily, and then coming back and respraying. And I may be doing an overkill and not doing it correctly. But either way, it's working. Um, it's just gonna take more product uh, than I thought I was going to with the way that I'm currently doing it. So I'll give them a call, I'll see what they have to say, and then I'll continue this project once I have their recommendation. Uh, I will be scraping down any leftover termite trails off of the wood before I apply the disinfectant, just so I have clean wood that I'm working with and I'm not having to fight against uh, termite trails and, and debris that shouldn't be on the wood, the, the floor joists. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go, call it quits. I need to go in and shower. I stink. Um, it's hot in that suit. And that product kind of has a bleach smell, pretty heavy bleach smell. And despite wearing that, I do smell like bleach. So I wanna go wash really good and wash my clothes and all that kind of stuff. So. Make sure you guys are subscribed and have the notification bell on so that way you can see the follow-up video of me finishing the mold removal in the crawl space and then further videos where uh, Katie and I do restoration on this 1930s farmhouse. So I'm really excited so far about the progress of the um, crawl space. I'm excited to get it done. So once I call the manufacturer and know that I'm doing it right or have instructions on the right way to do it, then I'll continue. But for now, we're gonna call this a vlog and make sure that you guys watch for the following one. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.